today I have to do my first round, unfortunately, of coronavirus layoffs. That's not something that uh, I'm particularly looking forward to, but I'll kind of update you as to my thoughts regarding coronavirus and entrepreneurship. He said, Hey, I want to be off. He's actually not feeling that. What's up, James? Uh, I was just basically letting him know because of coronavirus, day one east is closed until further notice. Country View is closed until further notice, which has caused us to do a few layoffs, James. That's going to affect Lisa, Thomas, and my dad has volunteered, okay? If we do, like I said, if we do have more closures, it's going to, it's going to affect us more, all right? It's something that I'm not happy about. You know, I hate to see all of this affecting different people across the country, small business owners and the employees alike. But again, if there's anybody that needs time off you know i'm trying to debate between because even with my core staff it may just maybe i can just reduce hours if that happens if that happens so it's sort of a fluid situation kind of like what you've been hearing on tv i mean this changes i this i got the call over the weekend i don't know what's going to happen today as we get out there we might find out mcfi is closed we might find out curative is closed uh, and if that happens, that is going to affect our hours. Okay, I wanted to kind of let you guys know what's, what's, what's in front of us. I'm going to always communicate with you and let you know. But like, if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one and there's somebody who can take some time off, let me know. Okay, is there any questions? All right, what's going on? Thank you for uh, coming to the page of Mr. Vincent M. Nash. That is myself. And on my page, I like to discuss all things entrepreneurship, real estate, and motivation. And at this point in time, we obviously, wherever you live, wherever you might be, you have encountered the phenomenon known as the novel coronavirus COVID-19. This has been a global pandemic, as they label it, that has obviously affected us all. Um, it is a very serious situation uh, simply because of the economic repercussions from such a event, an event that uh, is often called a black swan event because of it it's an anomaly it's something that does not happen often um, so it got me to thinking actually it didn't get me to thinking it it forced me into a new reality I'm a small business owner um, I own a non-emergency medical transportation company called Nash Transportation and Nash Transportation is my baby. Um, I remember um, I've had meetings where I've talked to my employees just to get them to understand that this is something that I've grown from its inception, that I've spent countless hours, uh, countless amounts of energy, time, sacrifice, dedication, uh, much like you would a child. And it is a child to me. So what we are going through right now is very serious uh, not only that but my employees we're like a family these are these are 
individuals that have been with me four or five plus years. And now the repercussions of this event are causing economic hardship on them. And I always think about my employees from day one. That's always been my utmost responsibility. So with that, I've been forced to do certain things and uh, it, you know, just in my thinking and in my brainstorming, uh, it, it brought out these five leadership qualities that the coronavirus is testing on small business owners. So here's a, a bit of insight into what this phenomenon, the coronavirus has done to Nash Transportation and what I as a leader have had to tap into the five qualities that I have had to tap into as of right now to navigate this uh, global pandemic. And more qualities will be tested going forward. This is by no means all, but these are five that if you are looking to be a leader, if you have leadership position, I think that you would agree with me that these five qualities are definitely being tested. Okay, five, five qualities. The first that came to mind for me is decisive. So decisive, uh, how have I um, had to use that quality during this, um, during this global pandemic? Unfortunately, when the downturn came, my business took a uh, my business took a big hit. I've probably lost maybe seventy to eighty percent of my business. I had to forecast. You know, immediately when this when this started to happen, I began to think of my employees, because I knew what was eventually going to come down um, down the the what was eventually going to come and that it was going to affect my employees. So my routes have decreased by 80% and I had to be very decisive and unfortunately uh, lay off employees. Now, during this, communication is key. So we, as soon as it started to happen, we would communicate and, we, and I would talk to them about the things that I was forecasting and what might be to come when you're mentally prepared for something and you don't just get hit by it, um, it helps. So as a small business owner, I've had to be very decisive during this period. Not only that, but I started to contact um, different uh, debts that I may have had where payment plans um, or you know various payments that were coming up to say, hey, because of this phenomenon, is it possible to delay my payments by two or three months to decrease my debt in the upcoming weeks and months to come? So I've, I have to be very decisive about this before it hits me, but you have to be very decisive. And this is not even during this phenomenon. These are qualities that you carry throughout. So things will get better, things will get back to normal. You have to be very decisive in your place of work. The second quality and I put this second because it's very it ties right into the, the previous which is compassionate during this downturn uh, we all are feeling the effects one thing I told my employees is there's very little difference between you as an employee and me as an employer there's a saying I heard that said entrepreneurs are the only people who will go from working 40 hours a week to 80 hours a week for basically the same amount of money just because they have control over their situation. And that's all it is. Some people are living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of businesses are living deposit to deposit. So once these revenue streams dry up, it's not, for some businesses, they don't have the capacity to carry on throughout this global pandemic. Many businesses will close their doors forever. Many people will completely lose these babies, as I described them earlier, that they have created because of this. Certain lives will be affected forever, which will then uh, 
lean into personal relationships, mental stability, uh, various other um, things that are related uh, that will begin to happen. So you have to be compassionate through all of this. Unfortunately, I've had to lay off employees, but you know I try to let them know what their options are. I try to keep them updated as to the different economic bills that are being passed, what their unemployment options are. Um, try to be there as much as I can, but I have to be very compassionate. Um, and although I'm being very decisive, I'm compassionate in my decisions. The third is adaptability. So obviously, once this hit, I have to be able to adapt to my circumstances. I have to be able to forecast how this is going to affect my business and I have to be able to scale down and I have to be able to adjust and I have to be able to adapt because the key is to stay in business. Throughout this global pandemic, throughout this phenomenon, the key for small business owners, more than anything, figure out how to come out on the other side when it's all done. Nash Transportation, the goal is to come out, the goal is to come out on the other end of this, to survive, to adapt and survive. We will have better days. Our economy will rebound. I personally believe that uh, this is this is one of those situations we do live in a system and this system will break some but this system will make some uh, let me say that again this system will break some but this system will make some and the key for us as small business owners is to get through this if you can scale down adjust and adapt and just get through this I believe that the economy will rebound bigger and better than ever before better days are ahead of us um, but uh, things are being mobilized against us right now so scale down adapt uh, and get through it the fourth quality that I believe this coronavirus is testing in small business owners is focus focus because right now more than ever you have to be on top of your game you have to be focused so that you can be decisive. It's hard to make decisions, smart decisions, effective, quick decisions when you have lack of focus. So you need to be focused so you can be decisive. You need to be focused so that you can give compassion. When you're not focused and when you're all over the place, you may not realize what's right in front of you. My wife always, uh, especially when we first started dating, because I was, oh my goodness, I've, I've gotten much better. But, you know, she would always preach to me about living in the present. And that takes focus to live in the present. And oftentimes what's right in front of you needs the most focus at that time so that you can be compassionate, okay? Adaptability. How are you going to adapt if you don't have focus? So focus is my fourth quality, all right? And then the last quality that I feel this coronavirus uh, is, is testing within small business owners, uh, and especially for me, is diversify. But right now, more than ever, take this as a lesson to diversify your income streams so that when something happens that affects one or two, you are not completely devoid of income. So I have various streams of income. And so my goal right now is to do one thing, and that's to get through to the other side. These are five of the qualities that I that I that I've taken from this that I just kind of wanted to pass along but I hope that this gets cleared up and uh, solved soon and that uh, we're able to go back to things as they once were 
So I wish you all the best. Uh, my prayers are with you. Thank you uh, for checking in with Mr. Vincent M. Nash. If you, if you like the things that I talk about, if you like where I'm coming from, if you like the vibe that I'm giving, the energy that I have, you know, please join my community. Uh, that's what I'm all about. And, uh, and showing, the, showing the community that it can be done. All right? So stay safe. God bless. I'll see you next time. Thank you.